集中水の呼吸銃の肩Hey everybody, BM Collectibles here, back for another statue unboxing review for you. Today marks the third statue to debut on this channel from the series Demon Slayer, and man, do we have an awesome one set up for you today. This is by Hero Belief Studio, and it is in a scale of one-sixth. My favorite style of base used to be the plate round style, and I'm loving these ones now that have the diorama. We'll see here on the bottom of this, we have a silhouette of Tanjiro, the Hero Belief Studio logo, and the addition size on top. On the front, you'll see this large hole. An effect piece will later be installed onto there. And then you'll see one where Tanjiro's foot goes right there. And later on, there'll be other ones on the backside, which other parts will attach to. But I gotta talk about the actual water itself on the statue. I am a lover of clear resin. I love when they make water clear on most statues, but this one is really changing my preferences. So the way that they brought to life how they animate water in the show, oh, real quick, this part right here did come snapped. I think the tension of the water ended up snapping it. I glued it, it doesn't look perfect, but it's okay. Resins are brittle and they do break sometimes, it happens. But the way that they brought this water to life and the way that they animate it in the show, because the way that they animate it in the show is so gorgeous. It's one of the most breathtaking things about that series is that, but. I, I love the way that there's no clear resin on here, actually. I think they did an awesome job with four different colors of blue to bring to life the Constant Flux. Speaking of Constant Flux, we got Tanjiro coming in in an extremely dynamic aerial pose, attaching himself to the base with the steel rod and notch on there. And we'll take a closer look at his outfit that is painted perfectly. I found no flaws all throughout. Uh, Hero Belief Studio did a great job at this. A little bit of texturing on the pants, not too much, which is perfect. It's absolutely crazy that they sculpted this as all one piece. You have that dynamic flowing robe as well on him. And if we look at his head sculpt, this is probably the best Tanjiro head sculpt that I've seen. So intense, capturing that moment that he tapped into his constant flux, his 10th breathing form, and attempted his shot at beheading Rui. His hands have that tight grip, of course, because he'll be holding on to the hilt of his sword. The hair is also sculpted perfectly. You can see it is in motion. And also we have a lot of different shading, blending of browns that are in there. Almost look like red tips, uh, but they are more of a lighter colored brown. All together though, Tanjiro just did a great job at coming to life in this statue. Getting him in there does take a little bit of effort, but that's because everything is very snug and fit. Afterwards, we'll go ahead and take a look at and install his sheath, which was sculpted separately with a little bit of piece of his belt. Not a whole lot going on here, just a little bit of texturing, and we can see the bright coloration on the belt, that notch there on the bottom, with a magnet there, which will attach himself to the waist of Tanjiro. Hopefully by this time, you have seen the end of Season 1 for Demon Slayer. If you haven't, a little bit of spoiler going on here, but this is the dragon that formed when Tanjiro used his water-breathing 10th form, Constant Flux. On the bottom, we'll see that very large notch and the steel rod coming out. And again, we'll take a look at the water and the way that it was painted that brought it to life in such an amazing way. You'll see waves right there coming out through certain sections, and certain sections are just ripples that are going on. The eye of the dragon itself is kind of a translucent, green but really cool looking i always love how kind of this dragon is much more skinny than you see for some dragons that are typically real thick but this goes perfectly with the ability that he uses in the show this piece will also act as the backbone of the statue so any statue that goes pretty vertically tall does require the weight that's being distributed to be proportionate on the back the front the sides to make sure that nothing tips over and that's what this is going to do uh, it will require that i install the next front piece afterwards because it gets a little shaky after this point but of course i'll be careful right i'm a professional that's what i tell myself with the dragon installed, we have his sword now. I love the way that they did this. Extremely cool. So you can't even see the blade at all, right? It's been taken over by the water. And I did the hilt itself. Of course, it looks amazing. Perfectly painted as per the standard for Hero Belief so far. And we have this water coloring as well. The tip, you'll see a very small notch. And that's going to go into the back of the statue to secure it. Now, there's a little bit of tension when installing this onto the statue where I have to bend it a little bit. But naturally, resin has a little bit of a to it especially when you cast it as thin as you'll see here but i'll go ahead and pull it back a little bit and stretch it stick that in the hole there and then i'll have to push the hilt down so it sits flush into place 
Be sure if you haven't already to subscribe to the channel if you look forward to seeing more Demon Slayer statues. There are quite a bit that are on the horizon that haven't been released yet, but have been pre-ordered. Uh, so that I will be showcasing them on the channel. Not only just mine, but my friend also has some as well. So it'll be a nice diversity here. You'll see right in front of us, we are installing the last water effect piece on the front of the statue that really completes everything. The only reason I slowed down for that piece is because I love the way that they made the rocks look as if it was wet by putting some glossy paint texturing on top of it. Taking a step back, the reason why this statue is so incredible to me is the fact that they showcased and captured Tanjiro doing all of his different rotations. You can see about five to six in here to get to the point where he's using his 10th form, forming that water dragon, and the way that it feels so dynamic like it jumped right out of the anime. Like I had said before, this is the first of many Demon Slayer statues that will be on this channel. If you enjoy that series and love seeing them come to life in these resin statues, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And as always, everybody, do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.